Okay, welcome to the first tutorial in the series of the laser engraved earring, and uh, we're in Inkscape, which you should be familiar with by now. And on your screen, uh, you can see the steps that it takes to create this earring, uh, the laser engraved earring. And we're going to concern ourselves in this tutorial series with number one there, design the earring using Inkscape. We have to create a shape, we have to put an image on our earring, and we have to make sure it's the size we want. So that's where we're going to start. And you can see there's a whole bunch of things on my screen right now, and I'll talk about that as we go. So here's my um, earring that I made as a sample. And you can see I've got a dolphin on here and some waves and uh, sort of a teardrop shape. And I'm going to show use that as my example to show you how to go ahead and make an earring. And of course, your design is going to be just that, your design. So where do we begin? Well, let's get this off the page here. Uh, oops, I guess I have to group all that up for a second here so I can move it as one. There we go, move that off like so. There we go, and we can look at the page. Well, there we are. We start here with a blank page. And the very first thing you want to do is set up some design constraints. Every design has limits, and our design has one of them, which is our material. The material you're going to be given to work with is one inch by one inch square, so you cannot design an earring any bigger than that. So we're going to start by making a one inch by one inch square. So over here on the side we'll have our uh, Create Rectangle tool. We'll click that, and we'll just click and drag and release. And if you go and use your Pick tool up here, you can pick that. And if yours doesn't look like this, it might be solid, it might be a different colored line. That's okay. We, if you recall, we can go back up to um, Object and change some properties about the object, which are the Fill and Stroke right here. So over here we have Fill and Stroke. Well, you don't want any fill. If we had fill on, it would be solid like that. So we don't want that. And we want the stroke to be something just sort of, well, it doesn't matter, but it just should look like a line. So I've got all my colors on my RGB here at 000, so mine's going to show up as black. And my stroke style, it looks like I have about 0.25 millimeters, something that works, right? You could be 0.2, it doesn't matter really, as long as it's kind of a line look. And that's it. Now, we'll click on it again here with our pick tool, and we'll go up to the top and we'll set up our width and height. Now, I'm working in inches because that's our material, so I'm going to change to inches here. And I'm going to make it a width of one inch. And make sure this lock is not locked here. That's going to lock the height to the width ratio. So we'll unlock that, and then they can change separately. And we're going to hit one inch for the other direction. Oop, try again. One inch. So now I have a one inch by one inch square box. That's all I want. Now one little extra that we're going to do is we're going to go and turn our layers on. Go to layers. Click layers. Up here we can see we have some layers. Now I already have one set up from some earlier work that I was doing that you can see on the screen. But make yourself a layer that's like constraint. And what you can do is you can right click on your box and then choose move to layer and move it to the layer that you've created. And that'll allow us to turn that on and off when we want to. So like right now, there's off with the eyeball here, on with the eyeball. Or we can lock it so that we can't click it, we can't pick it. So that's all we have to do to set up our design constraints. We need a one inch by one inch square box. And in the next tutorial, we'll work on making a shape. See you in tutorial two.